Now let's get to the co-main because you have the unbeaten WBA super bantamweight champion, Brandon Figueroa. Uh, he will take on Damian Vasquez. These guys have promised what they have, they've dubbed uh, all out Mexican war. You got Damian Vasquez, 15, one and one. Uh, Damian, let's start with you. Uh, why don't you let uh, the media know how has training during a pandemic gone for this fight and what should they expect when you get into the ring with Brandon Figueroa? Stand by, Brian. We're going to stand by just for a moment as we make sure that we've got Damien yep, logged hear? on. There he is. Damien, you can hear me okay? Yep, perfect. Fantastic. Here, I'll repeat my question. Uh, why don't you let the members of the media, let them know how training has been going, especially in light of a pandemic for this fight, and what should they expect, uh, the boxing fans overall, when you get into the ring with the champion, Brandon Figueroa? I mean, training camp during this pandemic, it's actually been great. You know, we're doing everything by, you know, the rules and everything, staying away from people, staying away from public places. You know, we're taking our test weekly and such. And honestly, the fans are actually about Mexican war, you know. I plan on stealing the, you know, the fight of the night. Love that. Uh, and, of course, Damian will be taking on the champion, the unbeaten, Brandon Figueroa. Uh, Brandon Figueroa joins us as well. Uh, champ, I guess the same question to you. Why don't you let members of the media and boxing public know how has your training been going on uh, for this fight and what should people expect when you get in the ring with Damien? No, Brian, I, I think we don't have Brandon Figueroa. We lost him. So if you want to continue with Damien for a minute. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll Looks going. like we, we've lost the connection with the champion, Brandon Figueroa. Hey, Damien, uh, let, let, me, let me ask you a couple of questions here uh, while we try to get Brandon back on. Uh, you, as you just pointed out, you said, listen, we're going to steal the show. Um, you also have been quoted to say, I'm going to hit him with everything I got, including the kitchen sink. I'm going to show him how a real Mexican fights. I predict a knockout. Do you still stand by those statements? Of course, I'm going to stand by everything I fucking say up until this point, up until the night of the fight. Excuse the language, but it's just the way I am, you know? No, no problem. I, hey, I, I love the fire. Tell us why. Why are you so confident? Because, you know, I'm confident in my work. I'm confident in my team. You know, I'm just confident in the work I put in, and I know what to expect, uh, you know, the fight night. What have you seen from Brandon Figueroa that you said in our training, I got to be careful of this. That's what he has in his toolbox that I need to be careful of on September 26th. I mean, he got some weapons and stuff, but you know what? I know what to look out for him and stuff, you know, and I'm getting ready for him. But like I said, you know, it's going to be a full-on Mexican war. So, like I said, all the boxing and shit goes right out the window, and let's make it a phone booth fight and still the fighter of the night. I absolutely love that. Um, listen, I know there are a number uh, of people from the media who certainly want to ask you some questions. So let's bring in Chris de Blasio again. And, Chris, I know a, a number of media people have some questions. Uh, let them ask them for Damian Vasquez. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, again, uh, no Brandon on the call, guys, right now. Sorry about that. We'll try to get him back. Um, our first question from Jeremy Herridges. Herridges? Jeremy, go ahead. Hi, Damien. How are you doing? Um, thank you for taking the time. Uh, you've been very, very vocal about how aggressive you're going to be in this fight. Is it the fact that it's a championship? Um, what's got you so heated for this one in comparison to other fights? I mean, this is all the marbles on the table for me. You know, I ain't got nothing to fucking lose for this fight. I really don't, you know. This fight changes my life and everybody else's life around me. So, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going in there with everything I got. As you said, uh, you have nothing to lose in this fight. Do you think that makes you an even more dangerous fighter with that attitude? Do you think that um, that brings a new edge to you that maybe people haven't seen before? Of course, you know, I, like I said, I ain't got nothing to lose. So why am I going to be in there, you know, going there and be scared to lose? You know, the Piano fight and everybody that be watching it on the internet and shit, that wasn't me. You know, I had a lot of personal issues going on outside the ring. I couldn't focus completely on camping. But you know what? I got all my shit together. I'm focused now and I'm ready to go. Last question. Um, obviously, in, in Brandon's last fight, he fought to a draw. What did you learn from watching that fight? Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at this. You know, I respect the dude. He's a champion for a reason. But when we step in that ring, all my respect for him goes right out the fucking window. 
Awesome. Damien, thank you for your time and best of luck. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, Carlos Toro, do you have a question? You can unmute and go ahead, Carlos. Okay, we'll try uh, Andres Gomez. Andres, do you have a question for Damien? Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you doing, Damien? Good, and you? I'm great, I'm great. Uh, so, Chad, uh, you haven't fought a former uh, world title holder before, and Payano. How prepared are you going into this match mentally? Did you did you do any changes, uh, you know, heading into this fight versus another world champion? Yeah, like I said, you know, when I went to go fight Payano, you know, I had a lot of issues going outside the ring, you know, so I couldn't focus completely on the fight. But you know what? After that fight, I got my shit together and everything. And now with this fight, I'm coming completely there mentally and physically. Right. So now, is the, the, you're going to see the real Damien, though. Nice. Is this your first pay-per-view uh, match? Uh, yeah, it is. Right, so what do you what do you want to show the world about you on on that night? Uh, I want to show the world that I'm a force to be reckoned with. You know, I want to take my throne. You know, in the 122 pound weight class. All right, champ. I wish you the best going forward. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, we'll give you one more shot here. If not, we'll uh, we'll move on. Carlos Toro, you should be able to ask your question now. Hey, uh, Damien, can can you guys hear me now? Yep, perfect. Yep. We can. Okay, uh, apologies for that one. But um, just to do super quick, I mean, obviously you've spoken a little bit about some of the struggles you've you've had to deal with in some of your past fights. What have you sort of kind of taken away from the Car Juan Carlos Payano loss and the in the draw against Josue Morales, kind of taken away from those fights? Uh, do you feel like you're a much different boxer or at least a better boxer than you were back then? Oh, completely, you know. But like I said, for this fight, I, I want to go for, I want to go to war with this dude, you know. Like I said, boxing going to go out the window. I want to make it a war. I want to be the night, fight of the night, you know. Does the does your mentality of wanting to make this, uh, of stealing the show and making this a war kind of motivate you even more so, especially the platform that you're on and being on, on pay-per-view in this a very, very unique circumstances uh, when it comes to this next fight? Of course, like I said, you know, this is for all the marbles on the table and I got nothing to lose, you know. Thanks, Damien. Best of luck on September 26th. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Um, Brian, I think we're ready to, uh, to move on. Well, let me just, uh, before we move on, Damien, let me just wrap it up with this uh, because, you know, Showtime has certainly put a lot of focus in that 118, especially 122 pound division. We've seen Angelo Leo. We've seen Stephen Fulton. Uh, we've seen Raisa Aline. I, I just want to give me your thoughts on the 122 pound division. That's a great weight class. You know, there's a lot of fire going on right there. And like I said, I want to take my throne in a 122-pound weight class. Fantastic. Looking forward to seeing you get in the ring with Brandon Figueroa. There he is, Damian Vasquez. Damian, best of luck uh, on the 26th. See you very soon. Yep, see you guys soon.